All right, folks, let's talk about virtual reality, man. This isn't just some passing fad or a gimmick for tech enthusiasts. VR is transforming the way we interact with the digital world. It's like stepping into a sci-fi movie, but it's happening right now, in our living rooms, offices, and classrooms. VR. It's not just some sci-fi fantasy anymore, it's a tangible, immersive experience that is becoming more accessible and advanced every day. Imagine being able to explore distant planets, dive into the depths of the ocean, or even walk through a historical event, all from the comfort of your home. This stuff is getting real, and I mean real. The level of detail and immersion is mind-blowing. You can look around and see a fully realized world, interact with objects, and even feel like you're physically present in a different place. Real. The advancements in VR technology are pushing the boundaries of what's possible. We're seeing improvements in graphics, sound, and even tactile feedback, making the experience more lifelike than ever before. We're talking about strapping on a headset and stepping into a whole other world. It's like teleporting to a different reality where the rules of physics can be bent and your imagination is the only limit. Whether it's for gaming, education, or virtual meetings, VR is opening up new possibilities. It's like plugging into the matrix, but way less creepy and with fewer leather trench coats. The environments are stunning, the interactions are seamless, and the potential applications are endless. From virtual tourism to remote work, VR is reshaping our world. Remember when those clunky VR headsets first came out? They were heavy, uncomfortable, and the graphics were pretty basic. But even then, the idea of stepping into a virtual world was exciting. We've come a long way since those early days. People were tripping over wires, bumping into walls. It was a disaster. But those early mishaps were just growing pains. They paved the way for the sleek wireless headsets we have today. Now you can move freely without worrying about getting tangled up. But now, the tech is getting seriously good. We're talking about headsets that are lightweight, comfortable, and packed with advanced features. The visuals are stunning, the audio is immersive, and the overall experience is incredibly realistic. We're talking high-resolution displays, motion tracking, haptic feedback. These advancements are making VR more immersive and interactive. You can reach out and touch objects, feel the texture, and even sense the weight. It's like your brain is being tricked into believing you're really there. They're even working on ways to simulate smells. Imagine walking through a virtual forest and actually smelling the pine trees, or visiting a virtual bakery and catching a whiff of fresh bread. The goal is to make the virtual experience as close to reality as possible. And the best part? VR isn't just for gaming anymore, man, it's changing everything. From education to healthcare, VR is being used in ways we never imagined. Students can take virtual field trips, medical professionals can practice surgeries, and therapists can treat patients in new and innovative ways. Education, healthcare, even how we buy groceries. Imagine shopping in a virtual store, picking out items, and having them delivered to your door. The convenience and possibilities are endless. VR is making our lives easier and more connected. I'm telling you, VR is about to become our second reality. It's not just a tool or a toy, it's a new way of experiencing the world. As the technology continues to evolve, we're going to see even more incredible applications and experiences. So buckle up, because things are about to get wild. The future of VR is bright, and it's going to change the way we live, work, and play. Welcome to the Matrix, dude. It's going to be an amazing ride. Now, I know what you're thinking, Joe, I've seen VR, it's just a bunch of teenagers shooting zombies and spaceships, and yeah, the gaming side of VR is huge, but it's just the tip of the iceberg, man. This technology is way too powerful to be confined to our living rooms. Think about it. What if you could swim with sharks without getting wet or perform surgery without, you know, actually cutting anyone open? That's what VR is bringing to the table. We're talking about immersive experiences that can train you for almost anything. Imagine this. You're sitting in history class, but instead of staring at a textbook, you're standing in the Roman Colosseum. You can practically smell the sweat and the blood, hopefully not literally though. That's the power of VR in education. No more boring lectures and dry textbooks, VR can transport you to ancient civilizations, the depths of the ocean, even the surface of Mars. It's like having the world's coolest field trip at your fingertips. And the best part? Studies are showing that VR can actually help you learn better. It's immersive, engaging, and let's be honest, way more fun than staring at a blackboard. Hold on to your hats, folks, because VR is about to revolutionize healthcare. We're not just talking about fancy medical simulations here. I'm talking about treating phobias, PTSD, even chronic pain. 
Imagine a world where doctors can treat patients with anxiety by putting them in a virtual reality where they can practice their public speaking skills in front of a simulated audience. Or, how about helping veterans with PTSD by creating a safe space for them to confront their trauma? VR therapy is still in its early stages, but the potential is mind-blowing. It's like having a therapist in your pocket ready to help you tackle your demons whenever you need it. Section 5 VR, your business better be ready. Listen up entrepreneurs and CEOs, VR isn't just a cool toy, it's a game changer for businesses of all shapes and sizes. Think about it. Virtual tours of real estate? Check. Training simulations for employees? Check. Product demos that blow your customers' minds? Double check. VR can save businesses time, money, and headaches. All while creating experiences that are more engaging and effective. So if you're not thinking about how to incorporate VR into your business strategy, you're already falling behind. Section 6. The future is now VR's explosive growth. Here's the kicker, folks. The VR revolution isn't some distant future thing, it's happening right now. The experts are predicting that by 2025 over 100 million people will be using VR regularly. That's a lot of headsets, man. And the money? Don't even get me started. The VR market is projected to be worth billions, with a B, in the next few years. Investors are throwing money at VR companies like they're going out of style, so yeah, VR is here to stay. And it's only going to get bigger, better, and more mind-blowing from here on out. Section 7. Hold up, let's talk about the metaverse. Now I know what you're thinking. Joe, you've talked about VR, but what about the metaverse? Is it just another buzzword or is there something more to it? Is that the same thing? Good question, my friend. The confusion is understandable because the terms are often used interchangeably. And the answer is, kind of. They are related but not identical. The metaverse is basically a collective term for all these immersive digital worlds that are popping up. Imagine a vast, interconnected network of virtual spaces where you can interact with others in real time. Think of it like the internet, but instead of just looking at websites, you're actually stepping into them. You can walk around, explore, and even create your own spaces. It's a whole new level of digital interaction. And VR is just one of the ways we'll access the metaverse. So yeah, they're related. But the metaverse isn't limited to VR. You can also access it through augmented reality, mixed reality, and even traditional screens. But the metaverse is a whole other can of worms, man. It's not just about the technology, it's about the experiences and the possibilities it opens up. It's about creating persistent digital worlds where we can work, play, and socialize. Imagine attending a virtual concert with friends from around the world, or collaborating on a project in a digital office space. It's like Second Life, but a million times cooler and less awkward. The graphics are better, the interactions are more natural, and the possibilities are endless. The metaverse is not just a trend, it's the future of digital interaction. Section 8, VR, the good, the bad, and the glitchy. Virtual reality, or VR, has been one of the most exciting technological advancements of our time. It promises to transport us to new worlds, offer immersive experiences, and revolutionize the way we interact with digital content. But, as with any technology, it comes with its own set of challenges and drawbacks. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you folks. VR isn't all sunshine and roses. While the potential is enormous, the current state of VR technology leaves much to be desired. Many users find themselves frustrated with the limitations and issues that come with using VR headsets. There are still some hurdles we need to overcome. Developers and engineers are working tirelessly to improve the technology, but it's a slow and challenging process. The road to perfecting VR is paved with numerous obstacles that need to be addressed. For starters, VR headsets can be clunky and uncomfortable. The bulkiness of the equipment can be a significant deterrent for many potential users. Wearing a heavy headset for extended periods can lead to discomfort and even physical strain. And don't even get me started on motion sickness. Many users report feeling nauseous after just a few minutes of using VR. This is a major issue that developers are still trying to solve. The sensation of motion in a virtual environment can often conflict with the lack of physical movement, leading to a disorienting and unpleasant experience. Nobody wants to hurl after a few minutes in virtual reality. This problem has been a significant barrier to the widespread adoption of VR technology. It's hard to enjoy an immersive experience when you're constantly worried about feeling sick. Plus, there's the whole issue of accessibility. VR technology is not yet accessible to everyone. 
there are physical, financial, and technical barriers that prevent many people from enjoying the benefits of VR. This is something that the industry needs to address to ensure that VR can be enjoyed by a broader audience. Not everyone can afford a high-end VR setup. The cost of VR headsets and the powerful computers needed to run them can be prohibitively expensive. This limits the accessibility of VR to a small segment of the population who can afford the high price tag. But here's the thing, technology is always evolving. The VR industry is constantly innovating and finding new ways to overcome these challenges. Researchers and engineers are working on developing more affordable, comfortable, and user-friendly VR solutions. Remember how big and clunky cell phones used to be? Just a few decades ago, mobile phones were large, heavy, and expensive. They were a luxury item that only a few could afford. But look at how far we've come since then. Now we carry around supercomputers in our pockets. The evolution of mobile technology has been nothing short of remarkable. What was once a bulky and expensive device is now sleek, affordable, and an essential part of our daily lives. The same thing is going to happen with VR. As technology continues to advance, VR headsets will become smaller, more affordable, and more user-friendly. The issues we face today will be resolved and VR will become an integral part of our digital experience. Headsets will get smaller, cheaper, and more user-friendly. Mark my words, the future of VR is bright and we're just at the beginning of this exciting journey. So, while there are challenges now, the potential for VR is limitless and the best is yet to come. Section 9, Buckle Up Buttercup VR is just getting started. So there you have it, folks. VR is more than just a passing fad. It's a technological revolution that's going to change the world as we know it. We're talking about immersive experiences that can educate, heal, and entertain us in ways we never thought possible. Sure, there are still some kinks to work out, but the future of VR is bright, man. So buckle up, Buttercup, because things are about to get wild. And if you see me in the metaverse, come say hi. Just try not to hit me with any virtual tomatoes, alright?